Well, I let the clay sit overnight and uh, underneath this lamp. And now I'm going to uh, take the block of clay, broken in two because of uh, the clay softening up and letting loose. And uh, I'm going to take my cutter, which is just wide enough for this break. And I just start cutting it apart. This is just a pasta uh, tool for you know chefs and stuff like that. I got it at a local cooking store, I mean supply store. And it makes an excellent clay cutter because you haven't got anything sharp on your hands. It's rounded so it doesn't hurt your hand. And uh, you can put a lot of pressure on it and the clay is soft enough that the uh, thing will just cut right through it. This is a uh, J-Mac clay. I use a medium grade or hardness clay and I get it from uh, sculpturedepot.net Okay, the other half of this uh, it's a 10 pound block of clay and that's uh, what you get. You uh, order a box of clay, uh, it's 50 pounds and it comes in five 10 pound blocks. And a block will, you know, do quite a bit of work. Anyway, this is too wide for this both ways, so what I do is I just go like that and like that and then that gives me the halfway point and or you just draw a line and halfway and then I cut it down the middle and separate the two halves and then cut them apart separately. The reason I cut my clay or pre-cut it instead of just you know scraping pieces off the clay is it just makes it more manageable, makes it a little faster to uh, work with the uh, clay. That's the way the clay looks like in the uh, bucket or the dishpan. I cut a hole in the side of the dishpan so I can reach my arm in there a lot easier than having to reach over and dig around for clay. I think it's a little easier. All right, it's time to make some major changes here. And it means cutting this thing apart. All right, I got this little paring knife, which works really nice. And what I'm going to do is heat it up with a, a blade, I mean a lighter. That just makes it cut through the clay a little easier. I think I better get myself a rag here. Okay. Now I'm going to cut around there. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting into the cloth that's underneath the clay. about his arm because I'm going to be uh, changing the position of his arm altogether. It does, you know, make you stop and think when you start doing stuff like this because you're changing everything you work so hard to do. But I think in the long run it's going to be okay.
I think what I'm going to do is have him putting a blanket around her shoulder. I don't know yet. But uh, just want to change that position real quick. There we go. And uh, this is going to mean I'm going to have to re sculpt the hand, but that's no big deal. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to find my pliers here. And you know, I'm not going to straighten it out because it just broke. But I'm going to bend the hand down right there and push it into her to hold her in place. I uh, want her a little closer to him. So I'm going to move her over just a little bit. There we go. Get her a little bit more closer to him. The whole damn armature for his arm just broke off. No big deal. No big deal. Okay. wanting to fall forward so I'm going to have to stop her from doing that and I'm going to just take that arm armature and put it right into her hopefully that'll keep her in place there we go it's like she's leaning into him It's always hard to change something after you've already done it for something else. Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to even work, but uh, mm -hmm. got to attempt it. Okay, I'm going to start filling in some of this with clay to hold her in place. Seal her in. fine. Believe me when I tell you it's all going to work out fine. It just doesn't look like it right now. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that overnight. That's just a little too much stress for one day for me, so I'm going to come back tomorrow with fresh eyes and see how it feels to me and, uh, and go from there. If you want to see how I created uh, each one of these figures from scratch, uh, I do have uh, DVDs available on that, on each uh, figure, uh, the female and uh, the mountain man. And uh, I have links below the video here that will allow you to, uh, you know, buy them. But anyway, it just I'm thinking I'm going to have them standing in snow, but I'm not certain yet. All right, well, everybody have a great night, and I'll uh, uh, get back on this uh, as soon as I can.